Now everybody knows that the United States is a land of big money. Why, some of their crooners get $75,000 a year, as much as the president, Mr. Roosevelt. It's not fair. Mr. Roosevelt can't even sing a note. <laughs> and in passing, I should like America to lend us Joe Lewis. If we did come over here, Max Schmeling would hand in his resignation as a parachutist. <laughs> Oh, he's a great fighter, is Joe, but I often think he would have made a bigger painter. After all, he's responsible for more still life on the canvas than Rembrandt. <laughs> but in the meantime, comrades, Britain carries on. The Home Guard is standing two, and Scotsmen, as usual, are standing one. <laughs> now, one of the Home Guards was on duty the other evening, guarding a Rissole dump. Down at Brown Duff on Avon. Well, he was standing there with his knife on his cannon when he heard footsteps approaching. <laughs> so he shouted, Hall, do comes there. This fella said, friend, home guardsman. Advance, friend, and be recognized. This fella said, who do you take me for? Donald Duck. I'm on the other bank of the river. <laughs> ah, we're a great race, you know, the British. I met a London friend of mine the other day. Where are you living now, Desmond, I inquired. Oh, he said, I've just moved into the West End. There wasn't enough room for me typewriter at Holborn Tube Station, so I shifted next to the weighing machine at Knightsbridge on the down line. <laughs> well, friends, we've nothing to grumble about. Things are going very, very well. I was in a certain place this week having a cup of cocoa with Bunny Doyle when an officer came in in a very strange uniform. He was wearing an admiral's cocked hat, battle dress kimono, with a life belt, striped trousers, rubber boots and spurs. <laughs> and round his arm was a red band with these letters on. G-O-C-L-L-C-M-S. Pardon me, sir, are you a stranger around here, I said. But what's the meaning of the letters round your arm? G-O-C-L-L-C-M-S. Well, he confided to me in a whisper. I'm the general officer commanding the Leeds and Liverpool Canal minesweepers. <laughs> Ah, but I said, what have you got the spurs on for? Well, he says, hasn't someone to ride the horse? <laughs> and so, countrymen, semicolon, all shoulders to the wheel, semiquaver. We'll carry on till we get the axis, semicircle, and Hitler asks us for a full stop. Yes, we can take it. We're a hundred percent esprit de corps. <laughs>